be all going to VIP boxing down at uh, Elite Boxing in Bolton, where I'm about to chat to Imad Nassib. Uh, Imad, <laughs> I'm still smiling. It was yesterday. I screwed up on the video, didn't I, mate? So we're doing it again this morning. Yeah. Um, but I watched four fantastic rounds with a young kid, uh, naturally a bit bigger than you. Yeah. But how much fun is he to watch? It's, forget about watching it. It's fun being in there with him. <laughs> you know, when I'm in there with him, I have to be on it. On, from, the, from the first second until the last second, you have to be on it with him. He's a human dynamo. No, he just doesn't stop, you know does he? He's top work though. Like, I've been sparring him now for the past seven or eight months. And I'm, I'm, I'll be honest, I've learned so much from that sparring because Anybody can come in the gym and spar every week and beat people up, but you're not yeah. going to learn anything, do you know what I mean? But from him, I'll be honest, I'm not even going to lie to you, there's been a few times where you know, I've, had, I've been battered, I'll be honest with you. I'm not afraid to say it, me. Yeah, well, he's naturally bigger than you, isn't he? Yeah, no, I'm I know, not I know he's only a kid, but bloody hell, he's a good kid, isn't he? No, he's a very, very good kid, and, and he's a top lad as well, dead nice. He, even for my fight last time, his coach, Dan, they brought all the lads down from that club. They took about 20 tickets off me. Yeah. They were all buzzing. They had a top night out there. Do you know what I mean? Well, it's nice because he's played his little part. Because, like I say, when I called you last time, uh, and we'll talk about that in a second, uh, you fought um, uh, Stephen Live Wine Maguire. Yeah. And uh, it was a very good performance. I mean, you went out in that first round and you put him in his place. You put him into that journeyman mode. Yeah, and well, uh, to be honest, we spoke about it in the yeah. interview before it. We, Expected him to come out a bit firing, to be honest with you, didn't we? Because that's what he does in his fights. He comes he does. out. And he does. Live wire is very appropriate, isn't it? Well, there you go, buddy. I think I popped him in the first round. I just didn't think. I didn't, no disrespect. He didn't really want to know after that. I don't think. So he kind of like, you know, just went in defense mode. Well, well Alex told you he wants his he's calmed down because yeah, he wanted. Yeah, sorry, and it, and, and it was important because it was from your debut, which was the end of 2023. I think was it was December 2023. December, yeah. Uh, where you beat Jay Pollard, you, you, you had had 10 months out. Yeah. But, as you said to me before, and now I believed you, uh, well, I weren't sure, sure at the time, but I believed you after your performance, you've been working really, really hard. Why didn't you believe me, Lee? Well, because, because all fighters <laughs> tell me that. that Everyone yeah. tells me that. Yeah. And, and you've got to go out and prove it. And you yeah. went out and you proved it. It was a really, really good performance. As I said, you, you, you've got a very exciting style. Uh, you're fun to watch, you're a nice boxer, you, you can counter box, you seem like you've got a bit of power there. Well, that's um, the thing, Lee, I am, my style is a counter punching style. You know, I've always been, I used to always box on the back, on the back foot, but uh, obviously you have to, I've had to adapt to the pro game more, going forward more. But I'm better when, as I said, when someone's coming at me, yes, trying to hurt me. Whereas I've not really had the chance to show that in my past couple of fights. Well, the people that you're fighting now are not going to be the fight, uh, people that you were fighting when you want to go for titles. Yeah, it's a 100%. different style. You've got to learn slightly different. And this venue, this place where you're in now, is perfect because you've got, you've got men like yourself who are genuine prospects. And you've also got the journeymen that can show you what you're going to be dealing with in those early fights. Yeah. Uh, and also, you get great spars because this place, it just invites everyone come down here, yeah, don't they? No, I've had, since I've come here, I've had top sparring all, like, from all over. I've sparred Charlie Edwards, I've been right, rounds with Michael Ramsletter. And uh, obviously, like, we get Sam, but for me, Sam is the best sparring for me. Yeah, well, I think he's the best sparring for anyone. I, I, I've heard a lot about him. Yeah, no one, I don't want to give too much information because I don't want to take <laughs> well, him, man. I want to keep him in. <laughs> well, you, you told me about him before. Uh, I missed out on the sparring. His car had broke down, and so I never yeah, got a yeah, chance yeah. to see it when we, when we spoke last. But you were due to spar him then. But since then, I've been to a few other gyms, and his name keeps cropping up. Sam Thornton keeps yeah. t cropping okay. up, and uh, he's a bit like a little Superman, isn't he? Because he has glasses oh, on, okay. looks dead quiet, and wouldn't well, say boo to a goose. Exactly. And he gets in there, and he's a little demon, didn't he? Exactly. But to be honest, yesterday I did four rounds with him, and you seen the pace? It was at a high pace. It was a silly pace. That. But I've only just started. I've done four this week. I did four with him yesterday. I did four with Lee Gormley at the start of the week. Up until this week, I've been doing like six rounds, seven, eight rounds, because I've been learning, you know, to slowly pace down for the pro style, yeah. really. Um, but like, at that pace, you know, at a fast pace still. If you like do you four yesterday. rounds like you did like yesterday, it, that it, it, there's no better preparation for, for what you've got to come. I mean, don't put too many clips in, Lee. <laughs> you know what I mean? I know you've got a few clips, but... i got a lot of clips. Too many I've got a lot of clips there. But I did, I, I, I was grinning from start to finish. I'd heard lots about Sam. Didn't know what to expect, uh, and 
I now know why everyone talks about him as highly as they do. His coach is dead nice as well. Yeah, Dan's a good guy. I remember him at Gary Boo's place. Um, But he's got his own place, Rainford Rainford, uh, Rainford Boxing uh, Club now. Um, But back on to you, uh, like I say, great performance last time out. Uh, We've got another good kid for you. A kid that when we look at these German, they they don't have great records. We know that because they're there to do a job. They're there to make you a better fighter. So uh, in three or four fights time. Well, sometimes we say that, but you know, sometimes they upset the odds. Of course you can. We've seen that, haven't we? Yeah. Whereas, uh, you know... If you underestimate them, they will. You can't underestimate anybody. No matter who I'm fighting in there, I'm going to be on it 100%. I'm not going to well, go in there like thinking, oh, you know what's going to be an easy night for me. Mm-hmm. I'll, tell you, I'll tell you now, Lee, the amateurs had about 70 amateur fights. I've been fighting for a long time now. Mm-hmm. Even now, we still get nervous before fights. Any fight will tell you the same thing. Well, no, they don't. But oh, if you're not nervous, they don't. They don't. They say, I'm not nervous. But there's but always something in the back of your You've got to be head. nervous. You have to be on it 100%. Nerves all the time, bring out man. the best in you. As long as you know how to control them. And yeah. after 70 amateur fights, and this is going to be your third pro fight, I presume you're learning that well. No, 100%. But I'm, I'm learning more on the job, like to. Uh, I focus more on myself yes. rather than focusing on the opponent. Well, the, the reason why you can't focus on your opponent on these early fights is because nine times out of ten, ten it will change before you get to fight night. Can, yeah, so, look at that. So you prepare you for someone. What, touch, and, <laughs> I've not had no problems with Have opponents you know? or, you know, coming up to fights. I see it happening a lot with a lot of people. Oh, they have last minute opponent time. changes, international opponents and pullouts and everything. Look at that. I've not had no problems like that yet, and I hope I don't, man, because well, I've seen the stress it has on people. This is a, another one of those great British um, journeymen that we had. Jake Paul's a very good kid. I think mean, he's close to 100 fights now. Um, uh, Stephen Live Wild Maguire, you fought last time out, just over 50 fights, I think, okay. now. Um, but you've now got a new kid on the block, but he's, he's, he's moving fast. I think he's getting close to 30 fights now. And the thing that you've got to respect about Sean is... Um, in his, I think it's 28 fights or 29 fights when he steps in with you, he's never been stopped, mate. Yeah, so he's, he's never been he's stopped. Been a tough kid. And, and that's the hard thing to do because they're learning. They're yeah. learning their job because their job is to get through to and hear that final bell. Yeah. And uh, as you proved with uh, Stephen Maguire, he had to shell up. He had to shell up in those uh, uh, the final couple of rounds there because you were so dominant. Yeah. Um, but but thing is a little bit younger. Uh, and he's active though, isn't he? Been fighting. He's, he's very Every active. Every week, man. Yeah, I well, think since it, I had my fight. He's only been in pro about sep- two years. In September. He, yeah. I think he's fought every week almost, you yeah. know. Well, he or, fought actually fought on the night you uh, had your second fight, yeah, didn't so he? Yeah, that night. Corey against, uh, Scott. Yeah, he fought just before me. I think he fought the week after, the week after. He's been busy, man. Yeah. But I know that... It's because he's good. Yeah, that he is good, but at the same time, against the fighters like this, sometimes for fighters it's hard to look good as well. Mm-hmm. Do you know what I mean? But... I, I, as I said, I'm going to focus on myself. I want to look good. Yes. Even against fighters like that. Yeah. Against fighters and that's, and that's yeah. a hard thing to do sometimes. Exactly. Because it can be that negative. Yeah. But, but Sean isn't. Um, he's, like I say, he's, he's, quite, he's quite elusive in there. He's a switch hitter. Um, I, I don't know whether he's, he's naturally orthodox or southpaw. Um, but, but he switches really well and he's good in our stance. Uh, so he's hard to land clean on. So I'm sure um, whatever happens, uh, you come out with a positive result and you come out a better fighter for it. And that's what it's all about, isn't it? Being yeah, a better yeah. fighter. Yeah, and also I want to finish the year strong. In December, obviously. Or in November, end of November, my fight next Saturday. Finish the year. Then I'm looking. I'm always in the gym, I told you that. I'll yeah. be back. Like my last fight, I had the fight on the 28th. And he had me sparring in there on the Wednesday after the Saturday. <laughs> with Sam straight away. He rang, Alex rang me and said, listen, get in your sparring. He wants me back in the gym straight away. It'll be the same again. Hopefully this is my last four rounder. Yeah, I was going to say, because uh, you're, not, you're not old, are you? What are you, 24? 26. 26, 26, 26, 26. Yeah. So you're not old, but I presume, especially your weight categories, what are you going to be, day before? You, uh, you know uh, what? Bantam weight? Alex has been speaking to me, you know, so I can, I can do Bantam, yeah. Yeah. Easier. Bantam, I can probably easier. Can do so that, maybe yeah. even Superfly? Alex said, yeah, I can, I can try maybe, you know, push the Superfly, but I said, I said, are you sure? But you know what? We'll have a look into it. But next year, that's when... You know, this time, by the end of next year, inshallah, yeah, should hopefully get a little title there. But with, without, uh, uh, with fingers crossed and everything, first fight next year, which will be late, uh, late February, early March. Yeah, um, yeah so I got Ramadan goes in March. Well. Yeah. Oh, have I, you? Yeah, first of March, Ramadan starts. I'm so you, you, for you, you would be perfect to end of February, yeah. so you can have Ramadan yeah, and then Ramadan be out again in end of April. That's the one time in the year yeah. where you know. 
I'm not in the gym as much. Yeah, I still course, am, exactly. not as much, but it's one thing being about heart. I can do it. I've done it in the past. I've trained through Ramadan and it's stuff. It's not good for you though, is it? But you know what? It's about I spend time with my family, man, mm -hmm. and you know, focus on my religion and stuff. Because like you that. work as well, don't you? Yeah, to be honest, no. <laughs> <laughs> but you don't know your taxi driver. No, I had it. Yeah, I've got my own taxi. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I had a school run. Yeah. But you know, when it comes to fighting and stuff. Yeah. I, folk, I can't really. Don't really you can't do it. both. You can't play at this game, can you? Now you know what? I had a baby girl, and I had a baby girl. The last, my last fight, uh, a week before my fight, I had a baby girl. All oh, right. And uh, now all I do, mate, like, I just train and I go home, mate. I, she's the best thing. Brilliant. Just train, go I've home, got a train, girl. go home. I don't have time. I don't have time to go out for food with my mates. I don't do any <laughs> of that. I'd, well, that's good though, isn't it? You no, know, I live the life now, Lee. Yeah. I told you now, like you know, a couple of years ago, a year or two ago, I was a bit. One, as I won't say. Maybe I've matured up a little bit. Not quite as focused as you need yeah, to be. Yeah, exactly. Now I know what's happening. I'm a bit older. Mm -hmm. And um, certain, like, I don't do the th the th some things that I used to do. I don't go out. I don't. I just train, go home, train. Because you're doing this, bro. You don't do doing it for your family, which is obviously that's what you want to provide for. But you're doing it for you, just to find out how good you can be. And as you're a very good amateur, there's no reason why you're not going to be a very good pro, is it? No, 100%. Lee, you know what? Like, there's a lot of fighters that, you know, they don't believe in themselves because they've had, a, they've had a few problems. Everybody has problems. Of course. I've had problems. Everyone's yeah. had problems. Life's tough. <laughs> well, it boxing's gets, hard, but life's even tougher, isn't exactly, it, mate? Exactly, but it gets to that point where then problems get so big, it affects the boxing as well. Yeah. But I'm very thick skinned, I've got a strong mind, Lee, yeah. And I know I've been in this game too long for anything to stop me. You know what I mean? I've been doing it since I was a kid. And yeah. I do it every day. I'm here every day. I don't have to come here every day. I don't have to train every day. I don't I don't And it's dedication because you're worrying tonight, yeah. So, so there's a yeah, fair travel to get here. Half an hour it takes me every day to come yeah. here. Sometimes and I'm training twice a day sometimes, but obviously Recently, I've been having days off. Alex has said, you know, days off are more important. Mm -hmm. I never used to have a lot of Rest days off. Rest is just as important as yeah, training. Yeah, 100 So a lot of fighters, they think, oh, train, 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 train. You can train, but you need that recovery. Mm -hmm. I never used to have that recovery, I'll be honest with you, Lee. Yeah. Alex used to go, man, I'm going to have a day off. I used to say, nah, I feel a bit guilty. Yeah, yeah, but yeah. You yeah. do sometimes, yeah. because you want to, you're always thinking, yeah, somebody's working harder than me. Mm -hmm. But you have to be smart about it. This, this uh, camp, everything's been about getting smarter, you know, in the ring. Yeah. Um, so little, there's, you know, everybody can train hard and do this hard, but smart boxing's smart. Well, what I'm That's excited about is because you had such a long break from your debut to your second fight. Yeah. This is fairly quick. This is what, what, about seven weeks, eight weeks, yeah, is it? Exactly, activity. So and you've been, in, like, say, you were straight in the gym after the fight, a day or two off, and that was it, and you were back in there. You know what, Lee? I was actually supposed. To, no one knows this yet, but. Uh, Fought on that show, and then I was supposed to be on that Wasserman show as well. Oh, right. Well, end of October. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it got cancelled, didn't it? got cancelled that game. Um, so I was going to fight In then. fact, that goes ahead tonight. Uh, but up in Newcastle Oh, Newcastle now. one, yeah. yeah. But obviously, I'm, I'm on next week now. So I was going to fight on that Wasserman show on the 26th, and then I would have been out here ah. um, next week. So I would have been 4-0. Oh, uh, obviously, if everything went well. Yeah. So plan, plan, plan to, but... Would have been active, activity. Yeah. An active fight is a dangerous fight, though. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Obviously, well, hopefully, 2025 is where you can prove that. And like you say, by the end of 2025, we'll know, or we'll, we'll definitely know. We'll either know that you're ready for it, yeah. or you've proved that you're ready for it, because you've had one of those fights where it's a 50 50 fight. And in your weight category, you know, especially super flyweight, if you do make that. If, then, don't yeah. know yet. <laughs> no, well, <laughs> if you do, I mean, you, you can move very quick, it's a bit yeah. like the female yeah, boxing. Bantam, I think I can move a bit quick, because mm -hmm. I'm a big, I'm not like, I'm a bit big anyway, to be honest with you, do you know what but I mean? you can dig a bit though, can't you as well? Yeah, I've put a few kids to sleep, <laughs> broke a few bones. <laughs> <laughs> well listen, I'm looking forward to this, um, uh, November the 30th, on a great show, and a show that's going to open your, um, uh, open the public to you, because we're, we're going live, not just with our own YouTube channel, um, but we're also going live with Boxing News. Yeah, yeah. Uh, is it, which is Zelf is here. Yeah, Zelf is on the bill, yeah, Zelf you know Barrett. How mad is this, yeah? When I had my first amateur fight years ago, yeah? Mm. I must have been about 13. 12, 13 I was, yeah? Yeah. I fought at Eagle Sports in Warrington. Zelf was the main card that night as well, yeah. to be honest with you. He fought a kid called Courtney Chadwick from yeah. Warrington. I know Courtney. Courtney was with us for a little while. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. He's uh, packed it in now. Yeah, yeah. He's, he's I was with him in the amateurs, he said, you know what, Phoenix? Yeah. And uh, that's when I had my first amateur fight. Zelfa was the main card then. And now, look, I'm, I'm on his card again now. That's brilliant, isn't it? Yeah. And Brad Ray was supposed to be on it, man. Brad's my mate, yeah? <laughs> I remember years ago, I went on a few tournaments with Brad. Went, like, Spain and 
and uh, Brad was warming me up once before one of my fights, yeah. And he was he was a bit of a star in the amateur days. Yes, yeah, he was. You know what I mean? And uh, I was only like fresh and young, yeah. And I used to say, Brad, I'll be on your undercard, you know, one day. <laughs> and now you and are. I was supposed to be on his undercard. Oh, right yeah, yeah, because he's got moved, but actually. He's, moved, he's now fighting uh, tomorrow night yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. in uh, the hideout. Um, but I'm thinking next year I could be headlining, man. Yeah, well, do you know something? In those low weight characters, you can do, mate. And you've got, like I said, a very pleasing style. Do so, November the 30th, well, you know I mean? I, I, I'm looking forward to it. And another good thing is what makes it easier for you to get on these shows. You've got good support. Yeah, 100%. Uh, last time they come out, uh, you've got good sponsors there, you've got keep people behind you. And also, this place here is a real family. Yeah. So, as you said before, with Sam, you know, bringing his mates down, this gym all gets behind you as well. Yeah, so, nah, it do, makes man. you gives you opportunities, doesn't it, mate? Yeah, and in the past, like, a year, past couple of months, sorry, Alex has got a bit more strict, not stricter, but, like, the way he, the way he is now with our little team now, yeah. he's, got, he's got, like, a good focus. Mm -hmm. Do you know what I mean? About he knows what... He, he knew what he wanted before, but now there's more focus. Like, he's well, more I mean, stricter with me. He tells this, me, like, like the way he's... This is a fantastic business. There's very few boxing places that are actually successful businesses. This place is busy. We're upstairs, but downstairs below is absolutely hammered. And yesterday when I filmed this bar, it was hammered. You know, it's always, always a busy place. Yeah. Um, and like you say... Well, I'm learning a lot in here, man. Honestly, I'm learning every single day. Little, little things I'm learning, man. I, Alex it, makes me go home and watch boxing. You, yeah, no, you know I love I mean? that. I love that. It gives you a little... Uh, th this kid is good for you to watch because I think you can bring something that he brings to the table. You can you can steal from him, can't you? Yeah, no, um, I've been watching it recently. I've been watching a lot of boxing and uh, obviously we've had, uh, we've had a lot of fights recently. Abdul Khan, he just fought. Yes, he did, his yeah. first title. Yeah. Been doing a lot of work with him mm. in the gym as well. We learned a lot. April's in there learning with her. Halil pops in here all the time, yeah. I learn a lot of Halil. Yeah. You know, with other people are sparring, yeah, other yeah, people yeah. are training. We're always talking, we're always watching and observing. Do you know what I mean? I, I think that's the only way to learn, isn't it's it? It's the best way, man. You know, because everyone does something really well. Yeah. You know, and, and, and no one taught them how to do that single thing that they do. You know, obviously, they do lots of things really well, but it's something that they just do. And you look at it and you go, I think I could use that. And so yeah. you, you talk to them, you find out, and then you go out and try it out yourself. And sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. But uh, this is a place to, to get all that. And like I say, with you, your prop's only got another maybe four, five learning fights, and then you're probably going to end up being a 50 yeah, 50 fight. Exactly. I'm going to do next year. I'm not like one of these fighters who's scared to like, oh, you know, lose a fight probably. I think I'll beat anybody. Mm -hmm. I'm not bothered. Like, you've got a fight for me, I'll take it. If I, you know what I mean? If it don't work out, don't work out. I'll crack on, wake up the next day. Go <laughs> again, do you know what I mean, Lee? Yeah. A lot of boxers now, they, 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 don't, they want to protect the records, man. I, don't. I know I'm only fresh for two fights, I know. But I want to move quite quick. But you've got enough knowledge from your amateur days. You competed with the best kids in the country as an amateur. Yeah. So why can't you do that as a pro? Exactly. And I, I spar top kids in here, Lee. I know. I've been sparring top kids for ages, man. So. Even at times when, I'm not going to say f the, these fighters that I was sparring yet, but I wasn't even training properly when I was sparring these fighters yet. And I come out the spot thinking, flipping it. <laughs> Imagine if I was proper on it, I'd ping these kids. Yeah. And that was days when I was just messing about. So now, now you are fully focused. No, and I am fully we expect focused. I'm getting more and more focused. A great performance day, uh, on the 30th yeah. and uh, an even better uh, 2025 year, eh, mate? Yeah, inshallah. So basically, my last couple of fights, I've improved every fight. Mm -hmm. Jake Pollard performed and then Steve Maguire performed as well. You're going to see another good performance next Saturday on the VIP show, man. Right, well, we'll see you on the 30th, mate. Nice one, Lee. Thanks for yeah, having man. me. Take care, mate. Thanks, Bye. Mate. For all boxing, info, news and latest interviews, amateur and pro, across and off, click and subscribe. VIP, boxing promotions. Also, Twitter, Instagram and Facebook.